And we have some fantastic, some fantastic islands in this delta. Have you ever seen an island like this, Steve? No, no, I haven't. Uh, I haven't, Colin. You'd never have a sportscaster named Colin, though, I feel. Is there one? I don't know. I feel like there's a real name equals destiny thing when you name someone Colin that a certain degree of... Nerdiness. Well, yeah, nerdiness. YouTube. Welcome. As always, it's a pleasure to have you here with us. I'm here with Lucy. We are making maps. Say hi, Lucy. Hi, yeah. Uh, I thought welcome. you were going to say hi, Lucy. Yeah. Oh, hi, Lucy. It. Oh, I should. I missed, I missed, I missed my cue. Well, Honestly, I should have rehearsed. Here's what we'll do. We'll make a, a beautiful map to make up for it. I'll try. I see people are trying to curse me by uh, trying to make me pronounce implosives on screen. Not my strong suit. So to distract you, I'll show you this map. Um, let's to let's catch up uh, YouTube. If anyone's just jumping into this uh, for the first time, what are we doing, Lucy? We are creating a hopefully rather pretty map. Um, you see the whole map on the screen at the moment. More or less. Yes. Excellent. Excellent. Beautiful. Um, so if we remove this layer. This is what we're, we're working with right now. So we've got little mountains uh, coming in on the top to continents. Um, they are continents, aren't they? Yeah. They are. Yeah, they are. Um, yeah, we've got uh, mountain ranges coming in on the top two continents. And uh, yeah, we've got, with well, the rest of it's just put pretty plain right now. Probably need some rivers and forests. Yeah, we'll need some rivers and forests. Maybe we could... I don't know, are you close to being uh, finished your mountain range? Maybe we can transition over to uh, Project Forest. Yeah, sure. We'll probably have to draw about one more mountain in there. So uh, Lucy's going to finish up this uh, one mountain range, and we are going to... I think we should do two things with our remaining time, which is roughly half an hour. We should make a few little forests, stands of trees and, and whatnot, uh, and then we should also attempt to put some words on the map because we've been making some fun uh, place names. So I promised last video that I would show you what becomes of Bak Bimbiwa, meaning small temple. So let's see. To adapt this into protocol, we'll need to CVify it. So we need to do something like Bak Actually, Paka, P, and we've already decided that these these nasal um, these nasal voice stop clusters are going to turn into nasals. So Paka Pimiwa, small temple, as adapted into protocol, and now let's see what happens to it when it goes through the Eustamia sound changes. So we get Pakbimu, which is interesting. I've never seen a, a W ending on, uh, on a Yustamia word before that I know of. Pakbimu. And in Lenadhylef, how is it going to be Celadorified? Huh. It turns into Fakfima which is an interesting development. Fakfima. Got to be careful when you say that one. So that's the small temple for you. I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it into our world building document. So it becomes Pakpimu in Eustamia and Fakfima in, um, in, in Lanadhailov. Right, okay. Let's see if there's anything else we can do while Lucy's finishing this up. Am I correct in thinking that there's some sort of a this some sort of a an agreement system going on in this? Maybe Ship can comment on this if Ship if you're in the in the chat. What is the nature of the boti beteni? Boti we have boti here, but then we have ndoti. Ndolu, Ndak Ndolu, 
but then we have another one. I saw another. So small temple, Bak. Bak Bimbiwa, small river, Ndak Ndolyu. So is this a noun class system? So these are our Bantu style noun classes where we have, where each noun has a, an intrinsic um, class that it, uh, that it requires other things to agree with it in. Very cool. Does it have the same uh, situation as uh, I believe Bantu does with different singular and plural classes? Or how does pluralization work in this language? And Lucy, question for you. Are you about ready to do some forests? Ah, I see you're starting on a new yeah. range. Yeah, do, do, I, I can finish that later. Let's, um, Shall we do a bit of forestry? Sure. And would rivers make more sense first? That's a question. That is a question. Um, well, we can put in one, at least one river going from that mountain range uh, the big mountain range, that's the one, uh, towards the sea on the west. I'm not up to date on the um, on the river placement method, so chat, uh, we will look to you for help on this one. All right, so where should we put this river? I'm going to assume that we're going to put it going from somewhere in this mountain range to the sea in a more or less not straight line, but a slightly, maybe a slightly meandering path. Um, does anyone in the chat have any suggestions? Actually, to make a river um, via this setup, I just start erasing uh, the original layer I do. So easy to undo if we want to change it. Um, so just let me know. Okay, so we have, we have our mountain range where it will start and our sea where it will end and because everything is always going to flow downhill quain is put quain says make it run to the northwest so let's do that and then make it run Where from the start from from the steppe border to the ustamia heartland so the step border is right at the very bottom of the screen um yeah it's on the other continent Ah. So right where the blue here. turns to orange in this region. Blue means the orange here. Yeah. So is my is my hand in the right place? Yeah, it is. It is. And where okay, where's it coming from? This side? Uh it's coming from the mountains because from that's the, the, the source. Oh, yes. Um yeah. and it will and have it is running to the northwest. So up here? Yeah. And maybe, okay. you know, curving as it goes. And okay. we'll look to the chat for suggestions as we as we go. Yep. So if I raise too much or what you don't want, just let me know and I'll put it back in. All right. Rivers like to meander a bit, don't they? Quain suggesting it can go along the, the range for a sec, but then turn northwest. And it may have some lakes pop up along its course. So maybe it should it should flow sort of alongside the the mountain range for a while and then come up and go out to the sea a bit farther north than we have it now. So we could do perhaps this. And then we'll also have it joining up with some others uh, or some other ro rivers flowing into it here and there. Oh, Maj points out that the scale on which these rivers meander will be too small for us to see, so they'll mostly be non-wobbly. Okay. And the question, um, Elijah is asking, which is the river you're not supposed to cross? That is on one of the southern continents, in the in Ming speaking territory. All right, Lucy, mm -hmm. I'll read off to you the chat. Um, yeah, they'd curve, but. Um, but mostly not meander. That's good to know. And what is it that controls when we get a lake in the middle of a river? 
in the course of a river? Yes, I'm just winging it. So, uh... <laughs> cool, cool. Does everyone feel about this? Okay, so as for the question of, um, so we have a few things. Lakes can form when several rivers meet. They're pretty random and on flat, uh, flat plateaus. Connor points out that rivers can join up, but not, uh, but don't tend to split, except at deltas. Okay, so, meaning this guy needs filling back in. Mm-hmm. And I think we may be, the river may be a, a touch wide. If, it depends. Are we doing this sort of stylistically or? Up what, to you guys. You guys tell me what you want. What does our source map have for rivers? It's yeah, so big. they're quite, they're quite thin, except at it's the, very skinny. at the uh, point where they Lakey meet the sea. And we have this one as well. It's a little different. I don't know what this middle thing is about, but it looks fun. <laughs> That's supposed to be the North Pole, and I don't think it's necessarily is it? the most accurate. No, I didn't think it was a landmass. Right? Okay. Um, should I make this a little bit thinner then? Yeah, make it a like a quite thin line, I think, like you had at the start. Okay, okay. And I think we should call this the uh, Nidinui, this one, for those who can see the chat, the big river. There is some absolute gold coming in the chat right now for, for where lakes are formed and how rivers work. So Holly says that uh, most things with rivers are caused by a resistance to the water flow. Bends and lakes generally form at areas of resistance or knack, uh, lack thereof. And then Sotten points out that lakes are at a lower elevation than the surrounding area within within meters. And groundwater, rainwater accumulation, lower ground uh, from Quain. And then Sotten says when groundwater is above ground, you get oasis uh, or swamp slash marshlands. Nidinui. Yeah. Okay. How does everyone feel about that? Is it still a bit thick or...? I think it's still a little bit thick in the green zone. Ooh. Okay. That's nice. Cool. Do we want a lake? I guess it was where they meet. I mean, we could have another one coming, I think, uh, you know, from this side maybe. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Oh, Queen says a, a tad bit thinner. Okay. Yes, sir. Oh, and, and Jack says the little island in the delta is chef's kiss i i translated that from the uh, from the original but yeah jack didn't literally say chef's kiss that was my editorial <laughs> that was my editorial commentary and we have some fantastic some fantastic islands in this delta have you ever seen an island like this steve no no i haven't uh, i haven't colin You'll you'd never Steve and <laughs> you'd never have a sportscaster named Colin, though. I feel. I mean, is there one? I don't know. I feel like there's a real name equals destiny thing when you name someone Colin that there's just going to be a certain degree of, you know. Okay, well, nerdiness. Well, yeah, nerdiness. I was going to say there are some exceptions. Obviously, Colin Farrell, I think, would be a good uh, a good exception. Um, but even yeah, with but but even with Colin Firth, I still feel there's a bit of nerdiness going on there. He's um he's British and awkward. That's the charm. Exactly. Okay. There's another tiny island. I hope that's okay. Pretty. All right, let's get another river flowing into this one. Alrighty. Oh, Connor has a good idea. Maybe the area near the beginning of the river is an area of hilly footlands. Like um, like foothills to the mountains. How's roughly this for our next uh, river? I'll make it a bit thinner in a sec, but does that make sense? Chat. Island inside lake. Last word from Quain. Island inside lake. Okay. Well, this could be a little lake here then, if that's where rivers join. Mm -hmm. Do a little thing here. 
And yeah, <laughs> the crowd is cheering Lake Island, Lake Island. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Like, um, there it is. Okay, we've got lots of good suggestions. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get through all of them. Um, Connor says, lakes can have many rivers feeding into them, but typically only one river leading out. Um, okay, that's what we've got. And uh, I'm not sure about the IPA on this, but is it Mikhail? Um, says, it looks perfect with the broadening of the lake. Oh, good. Um, Excellent. <laughs> yeah, and there could be a cool city on that island or something. Oh, that would be so cute. Uh, Maj says uh, that rivers will tend to run away from highlands unless so parallel to them. So maybe we could have it uh, go a bit away from the... In, its, in the river's early course, we could have it go away, a little bit away from that mountain range, unless... Go more here. Yeah, maybe something yeah. like that. That perhaps? Yeah, what do we think, chat? Does the mountain range have volcanoes? I don't know. Ooh. Geologists, come help us. Okay, so should I get rid of the other... Um, yeah, I think... The let's get rid of the first, the first one so that it's not so um, close up against the mountain. And then, oh, I'm going to adapt this place name because we're going to put a city in that. City in the lake. Billy Zekpatik. Oh, that's so nice. So, how is this going to work? So, Billy Zekpatik. That's a, a mouthful. Let's see what it looks like in Eustamia. Oops, that was Lanadala. <laughs> Pizik. So it turns into Pizik, Lucy. That's cute. That's very cute. Oh, okay. Look should, at this. We, could, we should have another one coming in. It's very pinwheely. That's kind of fun. Or maybe we could have that. So I think the idea is, let me get back to the chat because I think there are more good suggestions coming in. Oh, Bilibatikzek. Okay, I'll, I'll fix that. Um, okay, okay, okay. Billy Batikzek. So that would be P Patikazeka. Patikaseka. P Patikaseka. Something like that. And then let's go back to the look, I'm getting like a multitasking workout today. Well done. P Padigizik. So P Pad Padigi. Right, that is yeah. P patizik, P y patikizik, patikizik. Tough, tough one to say. <laughs> DL, yeah. Sorry, we've uh, we've been going on for a while with this stuff. Um, if you're at episode three of the calling with me series, the language that we're developing there is the one that uh, I'm running that we're calling Eustamia. And that is spoken in the area that we're making this river system in. So it all, you know, it all connects eventually. Okay, let's see what Lucy's been up to. I like this, Lucy. This is nice. Oh, good. Do you think um, do you think it needs any other leading in with this? So I feel like if you put a, um, hold on, hold on. If you put some, you know, you know, something there. It looks a bit like a pinwheel, which I enjoy. Yeah, I think having other rivers come from this mountain range and join up with this system, that would be a good thing. And Jack says that the mountain ranges on continent E were made by old active margins, but probably the volcanoes will have dwindled by now. So not volcanic. Okay, should I keep going with the different bits coming off the mountain? I or? think so, yeah. Okay, here we go, more, more incoming. Maybe this one, if that one up there can go directly to the sea. Uh, yeah, could too. I mean, it all depends, I guess, on where our other elevation is. Because yeah, where would you like it to come? The river is not going to take a, a course that's... Um, it's going to take the, the fastest course, the, the most straightforward. I'm thinking like they, these are quite big, These some of these ones. They're like, they were to do like... 
through here, perhaps? It would be less meandering, but... We'd have to have some hills, I think, up there on the left side of that, on the west side of that, to make it veer up and away from the shortest course. Okay. But these are, this is, this is all very flat. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Okay. Holly says, the more rivers we add, I feel like the lake should get, um, should continue getting yes. bigger. Sure. And I see, I'm just relating chat here. That's my job today, but that, that's good because chat, <laughs> chat is the place where the wisdom is. And um, Ship says, it takes the most direct course at each point, but overall that might mean that it has a less straightforward course, you know, when you zoom out to see the whole thing. Yeah, this, is, this doesn't look the most naturally drawn actually obviously i'm not talking from a um scientific point of view but um geologists just... oh i was gonna sorry to interrupt you there lucy i was gonna ask geologists in the chat do you think we'll have any hills in this in this area given how it formed and i believe jack is the one who knows how it formed um because it was from an old active margin so behind that, do we have a lot of foothills or is it just going to be flat? I don't know. <laughs> I'm looking forward to the reveal when I take the layers off. Would you like some text? Would you yeah, like some let's do some text forest? before we go. Because we have five okay, minutes left. Okay. How does everyone feel about that other river? I feel it looks like a dinosaur. Chat. Simple and to the point says ship. <laughs> it's a happy turtle. It is a happy turtle. It is a happy turtle. Maybe that's a place name there. Madge says, uh, add some tributaries. A few little. Going into it. Going into it. Going into it. And do. Yeah, that looks better, doesn't it? I feel like saying needs to be said for this one. Yeah, I feel like I need to study atlases a bit more and, and learn what these patterns look like so much to learn lucy i know there always is i'm just doing it from sort of i don't know map memory not that i stare at maps often you don't stare uh, at maps no well just, to drive but i don't think um app, like you know apple or google maps really has the same effect as these pretty old maps but you know um maybe one coming in from that think, northern part of the, the range into that top top river, the um, grinning pig. From me about here? Yeah. Okay. Although it would ha probably have trouble going over that that elbow of the of the mountain, right? I don't know how literally you want you mean those, you know, the, the individual mountains. Are those individual mountains or is that just vibrate? Well, there's going to be some artistic license, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Okay, fair enough then. Uh, but, uh, you know. The shattered we'll swine. <laughs> All right. We, I think, need to put in some text before we go because we're really running out of time here. Okay. Not bad. So should we name <laughs> one of the rivers? Sure, let me get text working. Got a Lauren Ipsum. What do we, uh, what do we want? Okay, so we, we want um, N-I. Is capital fine? Yes, ideal. N, oops, uh, N-I. T-I. T-I. N. And let's do this old style. N V I V. Where does this go? And so is this too big? This is big river. So let's put it on one of the big rivers. <laughs> okay. Um, and then you know, I can, I can let's look at the source it. at our inspiration map, Lucy, so that we can uh, see how they arrange it. Because they do this thing where they put like two letters and then they 
press enter essentially. Oh, yes, true, true. They're not all sophisticated like modern cartographers are, following the, you know, snaking along the river. Yeah, they're all twisted. And actually, I mean, look at the other ones. Um, oh, or it's a bit too zoomed in. Yeah, they they're not all caps. Oh, some are. Hmm. What do you fancy? Well, Imagine. it looks like the rivers are actually not all caps. They're italics. Mm. So let's okay. let's, do that. let's do that. Okay, and this sort of rotated a bit. And... Mm -hmm. Okay, where? In which case, you can change the um, the V's to use. The V's to use. Okay. I can't yes. wait to see. And that I could become a J as well. I think. Both of them. No, no, just the. Uh, no, just keep, actually just keep them all eyes for now. I'll, I'll think about this. We'll just see what the vibes okay. look like. But there's still a capital I at the end. Oh, yes. Thank you. Okay. Can we zoom in a little? It's very. I think it's a bit hard to see for the, the people in the... And let's see what it looks like with that final I being a J. Because that's actually what the... Final I being a J. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Ooh, what well, are you doing with wonky. the... Uh... It's a little bit wonky, but I think I enjoy it. Where would you guys like it? I think here. Yeah, somewhere along the the course of the river there. Looks a bit wonky due to Photoshop being Photoshop, but when you zoom out, Lucy, this Oops. is beautiful. Chat, I think we need to give Lucy a big a big round of applause here. This is oh, stellar sweet. stuff. Stellar. Well, we haven't done the reveal yet. All right, shall we do the reveal? Because we're basically, we're actually over time, but we're going to run a little bit longer because we, we were a little bit late coming in. So let's see. What do we have? Got the texture. We've got the C. There we go. And then there we go. This is it so far. Obviously, that text is very small, but we're getting there. <laughs> wow. This is amazing. Everyone, Lucy. <laughs> fantastic. I'm glad you like it. Fantastic. Fantastic. Well. It is a happy continent, yes. <laughs> it is a happy content. And you know what, Lucy? Let's let's have you back on the stream again soon to develop uh, to develop to develops it to develop it some more that's what i want to say yeah um i have to say i'm much more com uh, comfortable mostly just sitting here drawing than i am having to use my brain to like, you know say things <laughs> so i'm fine to come back excellent I'm glad you guys enjoyed Oh, well, thank you all chat to you as well and to YouTube in the future for uh, for joining us for this. this has been a lot of fun. Um, and let's see, let's put us back on, let's say goodbye to the map by map. Um, and I'll, I'll, I'll bid you all farewell. Lucy, any final words to uh, to say to our audience before we sign off YouTube? Uh, thank you for watching me draw for two hours. Um, I hope you enjoyed <laughs> ah, I predict that they have. Um, and come back soon, and we will do some more conlanging, world building, linguistics, all of the good jazz that we do. So, until then, YouTube.